kind of hard to tell here. But right there is... Just imagine, honey, back in the 50s and 60s, people were using this to walk home. I'll tell you. You take Maury out here in nature, she becomes one with the habitat. What's that? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's that? Do you hear it? I think we are getting very close to our destination. Are you excited? Hello and welcome to the channel. If you're new, my name's Chris and we're glad you came along for the adventure today. Today we are spending some time in Lehigh County, Pennsylvania. We are actually kind of like right outside of Allentown, Pennsylvania, if you're familiar where that's at. And we're taking a nice little hike on a trail called the Hassan Creek Nature Trail. Uh, you know, it's not a really big hike, but you know, it's, it's a beautiful winter day here uh, in December. Um, it's, it's roughly, I want to say like in the mid fifties right now. So why not get out and do a little hiking? It's gorgeous. You know, it's, this trail is, I think it's only roughly around a mile long, three quarters of a mile long, but there is a pretty awesome site at the end of the trail that I think you guys are going to enjoy. So if you like hiking or you're interested in things to do around the Lehigh Valley area, we hope you stick along for our adventure today. I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, but we are using some walking sticks on this little adventure. We actually have quite a few things with us on this little adventure that we probably don't need, but we want to test out. So we're going to be doing some longer hikes here coming up. I don't know, honey. You gotta do the limbo. limbo. You gotta do the limbo. <laughs> kind of hard to tell here. But right there is a concrete foundation, and that was actually the concrete foundation for the cabin that the CEO and president of the Lehigh Portland Cement Company used to live in. Um, I believe that house stood from the, I want to say 1940s and was used in through the 1960s, mid 1960s. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Here you can see the steps that went down to the cabin. Pretty neat you can actually see a decent amount of the remaining foundation here all the way over there i don't know how comfortable i would have been having a cabin hanging off of the cliff side like that but definitely pretty cool Imagine, honey, back in the 50s and 60s, people were using this to walk home. They're going to their house. As you can see, here's a nice little bench that you can sit down and take a rest on the top of the little hillside. You can see some other little ruins back here. Not 100% sure what that would have been used for. Now we gotta go catch up to Morty. Go get her. I tell you, you take Morty out here in nature, she becomes one with the habitat. Just takes off. She gone. 
not sure if you can see, but she's got the sticks, so it means four-wheel drive is now activated. One thing I will mention is this is not a very secluded trail hike. Um, I'm not sure if you can see over there, but there are some houses, there are some roads. But it's definitely a really cool hike. Short, but a lot of different terrain to cover. See, Maury has engaged four wheel drive and is climbing a hill. trail to branch off but I don't see any blazes it's a pretty good little drop off there one of the things that I do like about this trail a lot is it's nice and wide so we can hike beside each other What's that? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's that? Do you hear it? Yeah. What do you hear? I hear it. I hear raindrops falling from <laughs> our head. Plop, plop, plop. <laughs> I think we are getting very close to our destination. Are you excited? I am. Here is our destination. Now I'm gonna to try to get a little bit closer, but just picture this, picture this. I almost fell. Right here was a dam. And all of this along here was a lake, kind of like a little reservoir. That reservoir and the dam, the purpose of it was to build up the water for the cement plant. Now, as you can see, once we get a little bit closer, um, I think it was roughly four or five years ago, they had to take apart some of the dam because there was some structural integrity issues, uh, which lowered it down probably about, I don't know, honey, what would you say, like six, eight feet? Roughly about six, eight feet. I don't know if previous to that, the reservoir stood there, um, but now it's pretty much just like a little creek that you can see here um, that comes down through and it goes off that waterfall. We're gonna go head down to that waterfall. I wanna see it a little bit better. All right, this is kind of steep to get down. So we're gonna take our time and see if we can't get down here. As you can see, she's already gone. I told you, you put her out here in her natural habitat, 
You can't hold her back. She is a force to be reckoned with. Look at her. Full disclosure, if something would have happened, she would have whooped my ass for not helping her get down that hill and filming her. She's a natural. She is an absolute natural. Now, I will be the one who's probably going to bite it and roll down this hill. All right, well, that actually was not half as bad as it looked to get down. And this waterfall is really nice. Definitely an awesome little reward for a pretty cool little hike. It's a little slippery down here, a little icy. It was down in the 20s last night. I don't know if you can really hear me right now because of the sound of the waterfall, but you know, right now it's it's 55. And it's beautiful. But it is a little slippy. I don't want to bust my ass in the waterfall. One thing that I did want to mention now that we are down here, uh, there are multiple, multiple trails to get down. We came down this one. Uh, there's another one that goes up this way. It's a little steeper. There's another one that comes right down the side, uh, the wall, which is very steep. Um, and then as you can see over here, there's some more trails that kind of branch back off that way. Um, I don't really think it matters which one you take down, whichever one looks easiest for you. But I would definitely recommend you taking the, the little the little trek down here if you can. Uh, you know the reward is very cool. It's it's really a nice little a little waterfall. I would say it's probably maybe 10 to 15 feet wide, um, and and it just rained pretty good last week. So the water's coming through here pretty well. Uh, you know it's not not too muddy. Um, right down around and in, in these areas here, it's a little muddy and. I want to stay kind of over in that area. Um, if you're going to try to get closer and, and walk on the rocks, you know, do so at your discretion. They are a little slippy. Uh, I think mostly right now just because they're a little icy. But, um, you know, I'm going to say it took us maybe 10, 15 minutes to get down here. Uh, we could have done it quicker than that probably. But, you know, we just took our time and, and really enjoyed it. That's one of the great things about being out here in nature is you know it's it's simply that you know you're out here you're reconnecting with nature you're getting off of the couch and getting out here and just really enjoying yourself um you know here a couple months ago we were kind of couch potatoes so if we can get out here in nature uh you know you can too and and that's that's the awesome thing that that we really like to show you guys when we come on these adventures is you know while they may not be the most exciting adventure um 
which I'm, I'm not going to say that about this one. This adventure is absolutely awesome. But, you know, I, we hope to just be able to give you ideas on things that you can do and, and get out and have some fun. You know, I, I feel like the older we get or, or maybe it's just, you know, as more technologies come out, uh, you know, there, there's so many things that we can do and we feel just very content sitting at home, um, sitting on, on the Internet, you know, whether it be scrolling through our phones, uh, you know, scrolling on our tablets, being on a computer, what have you. Uh, you know, I feel like a lot of times we just really started to become disconnected with Mother Earth and, and we don't get out in nature as much as what we should. So, you know, this adventure here is certainly something that, that reconnects you with nature and gets you out in the outdoors and really just is, is awesome. You know, last year or years in the past coming out in December um, and going for a hike or going tenting is something that we would have never done. You know, it was just not really anything on our mind it, at the time. It's not anything that we were against. But, you know, being able to get out here and reconnect, I challenge you guys to be able to do that. And with that challenge comes along with something else that I'm going to leave here at this beautiful spot for hopefully one of you viewers to come out here and take a look at. You know, nothing extravagant. It's not like the flashlight like the last time. It's just a sticker. But, you know, hey, it's something, right? You know? Uh, and I do think that that's something that we want to be able to incorporate in our channel a little more coming up here is, is just be able to leave some little trinkets that we have, you know, along the, the little paths that we take or, or incorporate them into some of our adventures. So if you're a company out there and you would like to be able to get involved in that, uh, shoot me uh, an email. I'll, my, my email address is in the uh, description. Um, you know, I'll put a link up here for you guys. But you know, if that's something that interests you and you're, you're a smaller company and want to get your name out and you want to be able to, to give us some little trinkets so we can hide on our adventures for our viewers, uh, you know, I think that's an absolutely awesome thing to do because, you know, why not have a little extra motivation to be able to get out here and, and really just kind of reconnect with nature. So um, I think I'm going to look for a pretty cool spot here to be able to put this sticker. If you find it, as always, you know, take a picture of it. Uh, send it to our email address, which again, I, I'll have linked here, or you can send us a DM on our Instagram or Facebook at Adventures Are For The Cows. And uh, if you wanna be featured on one of our upcoming videos, you know, take a picture, send that to us, and we'll, we'll put it in a video for you guys. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna, we're gonna look for a cool place to hide it. Where do you think we should hide it at? Where's a good place? We're gonna hide it over there. So just for reference, right here is the waterfall. The water is falling. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna come over here. I think a good spot is gonna be right here at this fallen tree. So remember, if you find this little trinket, oh, I found something really cool. You were on to something, honey. You were on to something. Looks like somebody might have used this for a little bit of camping back here. I'm not gonna lie. This is a really awesome little hut and I would love to get in there to do some camping, but it is very, very, I don't want to say muddy, but it's, it's a little wet down here. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm not going to put it in there. I don't want you to crawl around in the mud. I think I'm going to put it right up in here. So give me one second to get that situated and we're going to get it up there for you. All right, so here is our little sticker. It's in a Ziploc baggie. It's in a Ziploc baggie, so it's not going to get wet. And like I said, we are going to put this right in here. Clip you on the tree. Wedge 
wedge it right back in there. That way the wind doesn't take it and it's not going to go anywhere. So as you can see, it's, it's uh, not a bad little walk down here. Depending on what trail you take, you can literally come right off the mountain, right down by this big log, fallen tree, and come down here Ow! to the treasure. I love putting these little treasures out here. I think it's awesome. So get out, go be a treasure hunter. See if you can find our treasure. If you do, make sure you let us know and we will feature it in an upcoming video. But for us, I think that is gonna wrap it up for this adventure. Um, at least this right here, this area, I think we're gonna go get something to eat. Uh, and that's a pretty cool one. This is a little timeless classic. That was absolutely my pops is 100% favorite place to be able to get a hot dog and if you ever come down around the allentown area you have to stop off at yucko's hot dogs so we're gonna go get a yucko's hot dog and take you on that and i think that'll wrap up this adventure so um as you can see there is a little bit of a hill that we have to walk up here to get out um it's not too terribly crazy but uh yeah check out this little hike you can't go wrong with it you're gonna love it There we go. The infamous Yucko's hot dog I got too, but this one here, this is for you, Pops. So messy, yet so delicious. love a good yucko hot dogs so if you're ever in the allentown area make sure you check them out a little fun unknown fact yucko hot dogs was a uh, was definitely a place that my dad loved and when i find some good places i definitely want to be able to show you guys those awesome places and yucko's hot dogs is 100 percent one of those awesome places so like i said if you're ever in allentown make sure you check them out but uh yeah i think that's going to wrap up this week's adventure i hope you guys enjoyed it stay safe be merry and we'll see you on our next adventure